Hello everyone, my name is Grigo Horat and welcome to our new episode of Surfing the Elliott Waves where I will look at some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. But what I will be covering today is cable, silver, crude oil, dollar cat and dollar Mexican peso. Now firstly let's take a look on cable. Uh, as you know we have seen a very nice price uh, this month here on cable we have seen prices touching this upper trend line resistance where I warned about potential uh, reversal lower after this trend line has been hit. Uh, the reason why I was looking and be aware of this reversal is because it was actually the similar but the opposite gain compared to what we have seen here um, at the end of or start of September of this year. Okay, When the market was very bearish at this trend line of course the opposite happened. Now the market was very bullish up there and again the opposite thing has occurred. Now this was just one approach to this, um, to this cable outlook but the main reason was why I was being aware of this reversal lower is also because there were probably a lot of stop orders up there okay above this swing high here from, from March and obviously the overall Elliott wave pattern where uh, you either count this as a WXY for wave E or as in waves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, as part of a flat correction or maybe as a bullish trend, okay, you still would be expecting a free wave retracement. So this retracement is now in full progress. We have seen a nice five waves of decline for now and looks like that we are headed even lower. Uh, I realized that market has moved back into this wave, uh, uh, previous fourth wave triangle here but still, I think that there is going to be more downside after an ABC pullback. So from a trading perspective, I think that at the, at the start of next year, there can be opportunity to catch some downside here uh, on cable. But be aware that this ABC pullback can even retrace more than 61.8% compared to the previous decline. So now we could be looking for some bottom here for a fifth wave and then a recovery. Okay, so definitely we will have to keep my very close eye actually on these uh, short term developments to and before we may actually uh, cut the downside low, okay? Um, now let's take a look also on silver. Now, silver has made a very nice uh, reversal to the upside recently. Notice that this drop in the last um, three months or so was very slow and overlapping and did not, uh, and. I see it as a wave 4 which did not step into the territory of a wave 1. So it was a very small risk reward setup and so far we can see a very nice and decisive break out of this downward channel. Notice that this downward channel um, represents actually a corrective channel that completed this weakness with an ending diagonal here for a wave C. So if we look at the 4 hour chart, here's this ending diagonal. I know that ending diagonals are slow and normally when they're finished they will cause a very strong and extended price move in a very short period of time but in opposite direction so um, i would not be surprised if this current recovery will just continue in the next few days maybe weeks and we will see a move back into this 1830 area okay so i'm looking for more upside now uh, definitely i want to see where market will close today it's still monday start of the week so it will be very interesting there will be also be a holiday season um, which actually may markets uh, when markets may slow down but generally speaking i would not be surprised if we continue much higher as long as we are trading above 1651 okay uh, so in the meantime watch out maybe for some short-term setbacks which can be opportunity uh, to catch the long side but as i said be aware it's a holiday season market can be um, very slow during this period okay uh, now let's take a look also on crude oil. Now crude oil made a very interesting um, reversal at the end of last week. Uh, just to give you a, a fresh outlook here, what I'm looking at is, well, on a weekly scale, I'm looking as a correction on the way down. So I'm just expecting a drop here in next year. The only question is if this drop will occur from current minor trend line resistance here around um, 61, uh, dollars per barrel or can we see maybe even 70 before this uh, current recovery is is finished uh, but what is really interesting here on a daily chart is that this trend line resistance for now still hold of potential triangle here in a wave b so if we are going to see an impulsive decline on an intraday basis 
and maybe even take this trendline support out, then definitely this will be a very strong bearish evidence, okay? Otherwise, we will just simply have to go with this wave count where I see a triangle here in the middle of wave B. But what is very interesting and exciting, notice that in both wave counts, I see temporary resistance. Maybe from here we see a very strong drop for wave C, here just a temporary drop for wave E. But in both cases, there is still room for maybe more than 10% drop here on crude oil. So I'm watching the intraday price action very closely. Here's my four hour chart, expecting an impulsive decline. It's still not, um, maybe not, uh, we still may not have enough co uh, confirming price action to make sure that this the reversal is happening over the current highs, but so far it looks, it looks promising. Now looking here at the one hour chart, maybe this is small wave one, you have a wave two, you have a wave three, you have a wave four, and now you get a wave five. If that's the case, well, then more weakness should occur after a pullback. So definitely watch watch out uh, these developments here. Um, also, um, at the same time, this would happen, what you would experience is probably see higher dollar cat. Now looking at the dollar cat, we definitely made a very interesting setback here. Now this could be a leading diagonal for wave A, and then you have a seven swing correction, ABC, X, ABC. What is uh, going on right now is that when crude oil is coming down, dollar cat found some support, which was also pushed higher by uh, some news released on Friday. So if, but just one day of bullish price action may not be enough to really confirm our reversal. So as I said, we need slightly more weakness on crude oil for that fifth wave on the intraday chart. And at the same time, what I would love to see is a follow through on dollar cat to the upside to, to confirming, to make sure actually that Friday's price action is going to continue, that bulls are going to stay here, okay? Um, so I really want to see how the market will close today, if we can jump here to, to higher prices and we we'll take this uh, swing high resistances, then definitely pullbacks I think can be very interesting to catch this at least wave C to the upside, if not something more significant here. Um, also, on the opposite side of this crude oil, let's say that I'm wrong on crude oil and it will jump back towards the highs um, and the dollar will still continue to weaken, then I will pay attention to dollar Mexican peso. Why to this pair? Well, because it's very weak. Okay, so if crude oil is going to see higher prices, then uh, uh, and if I want to benefit from that moves, then definitely I want to pay attention to currencies which are stronger and Mexican peso is much stronger than CAD, for example. Okay, so in crude oil uptrend, I want to look at dollar Mexican peso weakness. In crude oil downtrend, I want to look at the dollar cat strength. Okay, um, so it's ba basically intermarket analysis where you focus on um, very strong currencies uh, versus very weak currencies in particular uh, circumstances. So what I want to take a look is dollar Mexican peso to give you an idea what is going on actually here. Um, well, market has made a very nice move here to the downside in the last. Uh, few weeks and it looks like that we are trying to break this trend line support of this triangle in a way B. If that's the case, then you know that this downside, um, it's very huge here for a potential drop for a wave C. Uh, but I realize that there is holiday season, market can actually move, say, uh, stay sideways. But still, when I look at the daily chart, okay, from that point to current uh, drop, okay, this decline should be made by five waves. And looking at the four hour chart here, I do not see five waves down yet. This is wave one, you have a wave two, you have an extended wave three, and ideally you're now stepping into wave four. And what is the most interesting part is that actually this wave four can stop at this trend line resistance up there. Okay, right there. So this trend line resistance is actually this trend line. Okay, so it can be a kiss for a goodbye here. Um, and it really may produce actually a very big drop if, if that's going to be the case. Okay. Um, so dollar cat, um, not dollar cat, sorry. So dollar Mexican peso in such case will have a resistance area at uh, 19.10 up to 19.15. Okay. Um, on the intraday charts, hourly charts, I mean, watch out maybe for this swing high to be retested. It was the fourth wave of one less, lesser degree here before this market may continue to weaken. But what is really important here is that I think still wave C is going to show up here before this downtrend resumes. Okay, first, thank you very much for your attention. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon. Bye.